Let's go ahead and get another check of our pinpoint weather forecast because it is an alert day as we take a live look now over uptown and you can see the cameras shaking ever so slightly. This is again our Hyatt camera that really shows what is to come. Let's go ahead and check in with meteorologist Amanda Cox for more on the timing of this weather. We, we had our chance yes. on Monday and we saw some tornadoes pop up. What's yep. the chance for severity of that level today? Well, we do have uh, tornadoes can't be ruled out right. today or tomorrow, okay. but the chances for tornadic activity is somewhat lower. Our bigger issues are going to be the flooding, mm. maybe the high winds or the hail. Okay. So that's something we still need to watch out for. Let's take a look at what's happening. We have this storm system and as it's rotating through, the reason we have that opportunity for maybe that isolated tornado is because of the way this system is kind of spinning. Spinning. It's going to kind of turn and spin and head off to the north as that cold front eventually comes in. And because you get some of that rotation within the atmosphere, that's where we have an opportunity for an isolated tornado. But our better opportunity for that threat is going to be that heavy rain because it just has a ton of moisture associated with it. Already up to about 71 degrees, the winds have picked up out of the south southeast. The dew points have come up from earlier this morning. We were in the lower 60s. Now we're in the mid 60s, and that means that moisture is getting fed into our region. I think we're going to see these showers beginning to pick up. Most of the activity relatively light back to the west. We have a lot of cloud cover across the region. That's a good thing, but that's helping to keep our temperatures down and our atmosphere a bit more stable. But mostly cloudy skies for the rest of the afternoon. Showers and storms are going to become a little bit more prevalent as we get into the late afternoon, evening hours. High temperature around 80 degrees. So as we kind of put this in motion, you can see 3 o'clock, maybe some activity over the mountains. Heavy downpours, not as likely for seeing some stronger winds up in the mountains because of the fact they're much cooler. Temperatures are in the 60s across the higher elevations. As we get to about 8, 9 o'clock, that's where things begin to fire up further off towards the south and east. Another wave begins to come through late tonight, early tomorrow morning. That pulls away and everything kind of really intensifies a bit towards our east as we get later tomorrow morning. I think the heaviest activity for us will come probably late tonight, early early tomorrow morning with that best opportunity for high winds and flooding today. We do have a marginal slight risk not only for today, but also for tomorrow, mainly during the early morning hours for tomorrow, though. I think that there is still that isolated opportunity for some tornado and hail activity, but with it being early in the morning hours, better opportunity is actually going to be flooding, which is why we do have a flood watch in effect for a few of our counties. You can see the heaviest rain is expected to be over the mountains and the foothills. There will be some pockets of heavier rain, maybe upwards of an inch to an inch and a half of rain. As of right now, Avery, Burke and Caldwell County do have a flood watch in effect through Friday morning. Here's the good news. Once this system pulls away, there's not a drop of rain in the forecast as we make our way into your Saturday, Sunday, Monday. There's a system we're watching that may become a coastal storm that could try to throw back something our direction, but it does look like most of that will hold off until maybe later Tuesday and into Wednesday. So for your Memorial Day weekend, temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 80s. Lots of sunshine, really just a great stretch overall. But today, tomorrow, we definitely need to keep an eye out. They are pinpoint weather alert days.